As offices across Canada begin to reopen, many executives are looking for creative options to enhance the overall business collaboration of their employees. Having on-site food services shows that corporations care about their people now more than ever before. Today, we're gonna learn how Dana Hospitality is innovating to bring scratch local cooking to benefit their corporate education and leisure market clients by celebrating the diversity of customers first and operating outside traditional business thinking. Hi, Yuri. Now, we've read a lot about how Dana is transforming food services across Canada, but you aren't new to the industry, are you? So we've been in the business for more than 30 years, uh, providing food service to employees and to students and to guests across the country uh, in a very unique way. I'm convinced that in, an investment in on-site food service is the most impactful benefit that an employer or a university can provide because it drives engagement and it drives productivity, but only if it's done right. Now, Stuart, this definitely doesn't feel like an old cafeteria. When it comes to the menu and the food quality, tell me how Dana's approach makes this a modern cafe. Dana Hospitality, we look for passionate chefs that want to create and broaden their horizons. We don't force feed them menus. Uh, we want them to be able to cook from scratch, keeping their thumbs on the pulse of what their guests want and providing such. Traditional old school thinking is unfortunately based out of convenience. That really puts a damper on the food service experience that we want to provide to our guests. And the best way to do that is talented chefs creating great food. Donna, how does that affect what shows up on my plate as a guest? So we elevate the value of the cafe offering by giving our chefs the culinary freedom to make delicious food, right? So yes, we give them resources in the forms of culinary tools or uh, seasonal inspirations, but ultimately they make the decision about creating unique menus and recipes that work for their community. Our chefs need to ensure that they are meeting the needs and preferences of their guests, right? So it could be meeting the needs of everyone from a flexitarian to somebody who's looking for plant-based or even free from. They have to make sure that what they provide meets the needs of all their eaters. Jay, I have a hard time deciding what I make for dinner every night. How do your chefs come up with their meals? By democratizing our menus, what you start to see is that our menus and our offerings really start to reflect our consumers' diverse tastes. A lot of that occurs through crowdsourcing on social media. We've used Instagram stories to poll consumers in real time what they want to see for dinner. And because of our flexibility, customers vote and then they get it immediately the meal after. And that really starts to show up in higher participation, better engagement, and overall customer value. Creating a tight-knit community requires good food. And here with Dana, we get the opportunity to create great food from scratch. We get the opportunity to connect with our clients and customize the food to their needs. So the great thing about Dana is they've built strong bonds between suppliers and through this have built stronger bonds between supply networks. And that gives us the flexibility to work with seasonal ingredients within our kitchen. Whether you're a plant-based or whether you're an animal protein eater, we have a menu that's diverse for everyone. We get to create and everybody loves working together. So it's a win-win for the guests. Nice, now Yuri, that was all very impressive. Do you have any closing thoughts? We love to help organizations get the brilliant employee engagement that they deserve for the investment that they're making in on-site food services. We'd love you to give us a call. We'd love to do something special for you. Well, thank you very much for joining us all today, everybody, and sharing the amazing ways Dana is shaking up the traditional food service business model.